Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another street photography POV video. A few weeks ago, New York City got hit with a blizzard, dumping over 17 inches of snow across the city. Of course, I had to brave the storm, get out there, and make this photo walk happen. So give this video a thumbs up for that. I used the Sony a7R 4 paired with the Battis 85, as well as my Galaxy S21 for some of the shots. Keep in mind that you can achieve similar results with pretty much any camera and an 85mm equivalent lens. There are a ton of photos in this video, so I'm not going to voice over every single one, but I will touch on most of them and talk about my thought process as I was shooting on location, as well as some composition tips so hopefully you can learn something new from this video. While you are watching, let me know in the comments below which photo was your favorite. There's a lot of keepers in this one. With that being said, let's just get right to it. Coming out of the subway, the first thing I see are these people clearing the plaza of snow. So the first shot I took was of this person pushing a snowblower. Although it missed focus, I liked the pop of red, and the snowflakes that were in focus was a nice touch. I took another shot of the guy next to him, and this time the camera nailed focus. As I walked up the street level, I noticed these people in yellow rain suits. One of them was standing at the top, and I tried to use the stairs as a foreground element. Unfortunately, the camera missed focus again, but I kind of like this shot better. The slightly blurry character looked cool and ominous in the blizzard. Now on the street, I adjusted my settings, so hopefully I won't miss any more shots. On the opposite corner, I spot a mailman, so I grabbed this shot of him dragging the mail cart through the snow. This is where the 85mm and croppability of the A7R 4 came in handy since I had to crop in to get this tight of a shot. Turning around, I captured this image of a guy trying to push a taxi out of the snow. I used the reflective poles as leading lines to get some depth and to draw your eye into the shot. This documentary style image conveys a clear and succinct story. I continued to walk around and I knew I wanted to get an image shooting straight down the middle of the street. So I waited until it was clear and I captured this image. I like this composition a lot because of the symmetry in the frame. The buildings fading away into the stormy fog gives it an eerie vibe. A while later, I spot someone crossing the street so I run out into the middle of the street to try and capture it. I position myself to the left in order to center the person under the traffic light, and I really like the way this image came out. I waited until they crossed the street and captured this shot with the food cart in the background to add more visual interest. As I was approaching the intersection, this kid in a bright red jacket ran out in front of me. Again, I missed focus here, but I like how it turned out. You can tell that they are running through the snow and there is a nice energy to this shot. Moving on, I noticed a bunch of people clearing snow in front of this building. One of them was pushing snow in my direction, so I got down real low to get a dramatic angle and captured this image where the snow was being kicked up by the snowblower and the cart in the back just completes the image as a secondary focal point. As I continued on my photo walk, I spot this massive cause statue in front of this building. It was covered in snow and just looming over everyone. I used my phone to capture this ultra wide shot. Then I switched to my camera to get a tight detail shot of the head and torso. This was so cool and the snow and ice contrasting with the black texture is what made this image.
On the way back to the subway, I spot this woman walking towards me with a snow plow behind her. This composition is effective because the angled perspective gives additional context to the story, but the main subject is still centered in the frame. For this next shot, I spot this guy crossing the street way off in the distance, and I was able to capture this shot. It's a simple one, but still one of my favorites from the day because it really gives me that New York winter vibe. Now that I'm back at the subway station, I try one more shot where I shoot through the glass. It didn't come out as nice as I expected, but it was worth trying. Now I'm at my next location. I visited this area in the summer in a previous POV street photography video, and I wanted to come back in the winter. The above ground tracks add a ton of character and visual interest to any image. Of course, the first one I took had to be in the middle of the street, shooting straight down the center. This one point perspective is basic, but still effective. The people in the frame just add some life to the shot. Shooting in these crowded areas adds a lot of depth and layers to your image. Here I'm waiting for someone to cross between the two outdoor dining stalls. And using burst mode, I was able to capture this frame perfectly. For my last shot of the day, I just had to end it with another one point perspective. These above ground tracks just make it look so epic. And the person in the middle of the street was the cherry on top. Alright, so what did you guys think? Which photo was your favorite? I try to reply to everyone, so let me know in the comments below. It was unfortunate that I missed focus on some of the shots, but they still came out looking pretty good. And the continuous burst mode really came in clutch, especially for those run and gun moments. So that's pretty much it. And if you're still watching, I really appreciate it. So just for you guys, here are some additional images that I captured. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to support my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Peace.